Hey everyone, welcome to ACT's 24 hour fest. Woo! Uh, we, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> we have been in the library, at least one of us, for the past 23 and a quarter hours, Woo! writing and dying and not sleeping. So now we have five different um, monologues and plays to present to you all. The first is Abduction by Jenna Mitchell. Yeah, so do you guys want to hear something wild? I swear to God, it's true. I'm not making it up. Okay. Well, the guy across the street is really odd. He didn't used to be. We used to be friendly, you know? Good neighbors who make small talk, offer to watch the pets when you're out of town for a bit. Just common courtesy things. But recently, some really weird shit has been going down. It all started one night. It was really late and I was dead asleep, but all of a sudden I woke up in a cold sweat and I could literally feel the adrenaline rushing through me. It was like I guzzled a whole gallon of Red Bull or something. I felt like there was some kind of magnet inside of me that pulled me out of my bed and towards the window. I looked across the street. Man, it's so weird saying this out loud. I feel like a complete psycho. But I swear to God, I looked outside of the street and his house was literally glowing. Glowing! It's like some sort of freaky football stadium with the windows beaming light out into the road. Yeah, that was the night everything changed. Sometimes I see him through his window and no, 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 I'm not a creep, I swear. Occasionally, I just glance in that direction and notice he's standing there in the middle of the room, not moving, for hours standing there motionless like some sort of corpse or something. And I'm pretty sure the neighborhood strays or freaked out too. They just cower in my yard, looking over at his house with all their fur on edge. And now when I pass him on the sidewalk, he doesn't even acknowledge my presence. I get this really unsettling feeling that he's x-raying me somehow. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Don't laugh when I say this. But I think my neighbor was abducted by aliens. Um, um. <laughs> Thank you. Great. So next is Toothless by Whitney Priest and Amanda King. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> Honestly, the best movies from this generation are highly underrated. Yeah, I agree. The scene cuts in The Batman 2022 are far better than- Wait, The Batman? Like the one with Edward Cullen from Twilight? Did you just refer to the best Batman in film history as Edward Cullen from Twilight? This is exactly what I'm talking about. No one knows real art anymore. Talking about real art, you know what is real art? Kim, I swear to God, if you bring up Megamind. No, 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 I am not talking, I'm not bringing up Megamind. Though it is pure art. I'm talking about how to train your dragon. I loved that movie as a kid. I had such a crush on Hiccup. I don't know about Hiccup, but Astrid was pretty fine. Still gave me daddy issues, but we don't talk about it. Ah, uh, yes. The reasonably attractive characters of the movie. Definitely not the cat-like dragon. Cameron, don't say it. Please tell me you are not about to say it. Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon 2010. It was fucking hot. What is wrong with you, what dude? The hell? Watch your language. What the shit? Cam, we are all concerned about you on a daily basis, but this takes the cake. I am so scared to ask one, how you even came to this conclusion, and two, why. I can't explain. I understand that at the concern, but I have a valid reason. First, he is always loyal to Hiccup. That never wavers. Yeah, he would totally slay for Hiccup. 
Exactly! And don't get me started on those bright green eyes. He can see in, in the dark because he's a night fury. You can't uh, go wrong. Huh. I guess I never thought of it that way. Do you remember in the third movie when he goes into alpha mode thing? Mm -hmm. I can quote directly from the fan wiki. While in alpha mode, Toothless has blue markings on his back, fins, spine, and forehead. <laughs> glowing because of the fire. This is seriously some furry shit. I didn't expect much from you, Cam, but this is too much. Don't furry shit me. First off, it's scaly shit. And secondly, this is not a me problem. It is simply because the animators made him that way. And Sam, remember, last year when you were super when you super glued a picture of Judy Hops from Zootopia on your ceiling above your bed. Well, I sure do. Judy Hops is different. She was my gay awakening. I don't know, Sam. That is still kind of sketchy to me. And with the whole toothless thing, I guess I'm not as opposed, but I see him more as a cute little cat. Have you ever seen a cat do a mating dance like that? Because I sure haven't. I relate to Toothless because of his separation anxiety. I feel like he's so tough on the outside, but he really does have his insecurities. Thank you, Rose, but his separation anxiety is not the topic at hand. Instead, let's focus on that growl. No. Talk about the sexual awakening. <laughs> you know what? I, I think you've convinced me. I think I am in love with Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. And I... I have a confession. Always had a secret crush on Perry the Platypus. <laughs> you know, the noise is kind of hot. <laughs> Alex, you're speaking my language. The last reason I can think of the top of my head would probably not, would probably be his crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, you are still a freak, but we love you. I kind of get it now. Same. I am personally a Disney milk lover, but I think if I did a rewatch, I would understand that. I'm sensing a How to Train Your Dragon rewatch. God, I would it not. I would never say no to seeing that sexy dragon on screen. Let's do it. Movie marathon. Next is Spooky Rufus by Ian Berry. Oh, look! It's got a window and some flowers, and there's a bird flying around outside. Window's square. I'm used to round windows. Well, maybe you'll get used to something new. Let's get back home. This retirement community is your new home. You'll make friends. Just give it some time. Trust me, in a week, you'll be having so much fun. And I'll come visit whenever I can. Try to brighten up. You thought I was dead! You now, but now I'm in your head for it. But now we are gracious hosts for your big brother, who's a ghost. Ha 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 Rufus, it can't be. You're dead. I'm a ghost now, Doofus. Remember when you wish you didn't have a brother? Too bad. Could this day get any worse? <sighs> oh, our retirement home. <gasps> is this your first day? I guess it is. I remember my first day in retirement home. Let me give you some advice. Little brother, first, don't talk to anyone. Don't look out the window, don't move your neck, don't change your clothes, and don't go down to bingo night. But who am I kidding? You're a loser like you doesn't have a chance at making it out of this place alive. <laughs> Just let me sleep. Sleep? If you can, and puny puny squirt. Rock my baby, rock it real well. Don't, don't stop the rocking. 
I'll go to hell. Look who it is. It's your grandbaby. Grandpa! Grandpa! What? What? Get the fuck away from me. I don't want to look at a goddamn cell phone, you stinky penis. What the fuck? <laughs> so bad that my heart stops or something. Are you even listening? Oh no. Use the thing, it was cool! I 
I did not, I would never! Hush. Hey, there's something I need to tell you. Not right now, okay, honey? Mommy has to go leave the processions. Thank you for all coming to Arthur's funeral at such short notice. Does anyone have a eulogy they'd like to give? I do! Although Arthur's body is dead, his spirit lives on in our hearts and especially in my head. Ruth, there's something you should know. I'm your dad! As with anything Ian writes, I did not know where it started and I did not know where it was going to end. But it was a journey and I loved it. Next up we have Something Terrible, written by Eli Bolt. I've been here a week. Everything is... Everything is going well. Um, school is... All my classes are... Off. Everything is off. It's weird. Everything here, everyone here is pretending like it's normal, but it's not. It's the librarian. I, I went into the library to get a break from... And so as soon as I went in that room, I swear I became so cold. And that woman... What are you looking for? What? What are you looking for? Uh, nothing, nothing, just some quiet, I guess, or something to read. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. What? I see something terrible. That's fun. You don't want to know what's in your future? My future? Is it good? Then, no, I don't want to know my future. Okay, tell me. I see blood! <laughs> you see? Weird! And things get worse from there. And <laughs> see. All right, and now for the final show of the night, uh, Pigeons, which I wrote, I forgot the prop for. Um, my name's Kieran Jax Coslow. I wrote this. Anyway. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up, would ya? Damn, Pigeons. God, I should have left this job years ago. Why didn't I? I had the chance and I... Fuck. Hmm. It's not my fault though, is it? Change sucks. No one likes change. Why should I have to like change? Even if change means better pay, better job, working in a building that doesn't have bricks chucking themselves from the wall and mold and vines taking their place. Maybe if I left, maybe she would have stayed. No. That's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. Parker Hansen, I told you to have the Benson report on my desk by 1 p.m. Where is it? I swear to God, you are the most incapable, incompetent, useless piece of trash that I have ever had the displeasure to work with. If it weren't for that damn union, I would have fired you. What do you have to say for yourself? It's only 12. Don't talk back to me. If you don't get yourself together, you'll have a lot more to be afraid of than a loud noise. If only I were a little more bold, I could... Ah!
And that's our show. Thank you all for coming to ACT's semi-annual 24-hour fest. Right? Bi-annual every two years or twice a year? I think semi-annual is, is twice a year. Then yes, that. Yeah. <laughs> the point is it's twice a year. Anyway, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Woo!